eight Bundesliga stars who flopped in the Premier League from Warner to Sancho. It's always difficult to transition from league to league, and sometimes it just isn't possible for some stars who can perform brilliantly in one division but fail to adapt to another. Jadon Sancho became the latest high-profile star to trade the Bundesliga for the Premier League this summer, but his long-awaited move to Manchester United has proved extremely unsuccessful so far. There are some success stories, as Roberto Firmino, Kevin De Bruyne and Hume Min Son have shown in the Premier League after completing moves from Germany. However, this isn't always the case as many players have struggled when playing their trade in the Premier League. Here, Daily Star Sport take a look at eight Bundesliga stars that have flopped in England's top flight. Timo Werner arrived from RB Leipzig in 2020 after pushing Robert Lewandowski for the golden boot, and Liverpool were even interested in signing the German before Chelsea activated his £47.5 million release clause. Werner arrived with heavy expectation, but has ultimately failed to deliver as his once prolific form in front of goal appears to have been left in Germany. The German has instead been utilized as more of a playmaker at Chelsea and is now one of the stars that makes things happen, as opposed to finishing off chances that have been created. Werner managed six Premier League goals last term and has only found the net once in the league so far this campaign, rather shy of the 28 Bundesliga goals he amassed a season before signing for Chelsea. Jadon Sancho finally made his return to England this summer and joined Manchester United for £73 million after being previously linked to Old Trafford over a number of windows. The England international boasted incredible number for Borussia Dortmund, scoring 50 goals and recording 64 assists in four seasons after joining the Bundesliga side as a 17-year-old. United thought they were signing a superstar, and his assist record only added to the excitement as Cristiano Ronaldo re-signed for the club after 12 years away, but Sancho has failed to register a single goal contribution since arriving this summer. Sancho is only 21 and is likely to come good, but it's been an underwhelming start to his United career and fans are rightfully concerned. Sancho wasn't the first star to make the switch from Dortmund to United, as Shinji Kagawa was signed by Sir Alex Ferguson back in 2012. Kagawa starred for Dortmund after being picked up from Japanese side Cerezo Osaka, and United paid £12 million for his services two years later. The Japanese midfielder struggled to adapt to the physicality of the Premier League and only managed six league goals before heading back to Dortmund in 2014. Although his move didn't work out, Kagawa did become the first Asian player to record a Premier League hat-trick during a 4-0 win over Norwich, and he became the first Japanese player to win a Premier League title. West Ham splashed out £45 million on Sebastian Haller back in 2019, after the Ivorian striker starred for Eintracht Frankfurt during the 2018-19 Bundesliga season. Haller scored 15 league goals in 29 appearances as Frankfurt finished 7th, and also registered 9 assists to total 24 goal involvements, which was a figure only surpasses by Robert Lewandowski, that year who managed 29. However, Haller managed just 10 league goals in two seasons for West Ham, and was sold to Ajax in January, where he appears to have found his feet once more. The Ajax forward has already scored seven goals in the Eredivisie this season, and is on fire in the Champions League with seven goals in just four matches. Jolinton remains a strange one, as he never really starred in the Bundesliga enough to warrant the reported fee of £40 million that Newcastle spent on the Brazilian in 2019. The forward spent four years at Hoffenheim, but only really broke into the team during the 2018-19 season as he scored seven Bundesliga goals in 28 games, and they remain the only goals he ever scored in the division. Maybe led by the success of fellow Brazilian Firmino who also came through Hoffenheim, Newcastle paid a substantial fee for Jolinton, who has only managed six Premier League goals in 79 appearances for the Magpies. Jolinton is still yet to get off the mark this season and isn't likely to last too long under the club's new ownership. Andre Schurl burst onto the scene with Bayer Leverkusen as a 21-year-old and caught the eye in the Bundesliga before being snapped up by Chelsea in 2013 for £18 million. Schurl scored 14 goals in his final season for Leverkusen and started brightly for Chelsea as he scored his first goal in a 2-1 win over Manchester City and recorded his first hat-trick later on that season. However, the German's performances dropped and with that, so did his minutes, and in February 2015 Schurl returned to the Bundesliga with Wolfsburg. Chelsea won the Premier League that season and Schurl received a medal despite his transfer due to playing 14 matches in the league season and comically revealed that he was not aware that he had played enough matches to earn a medal that year. 
Liverpool triggered Naby Keita's £48 million release clause in August 2017, although the player did not join up with his new side until the following season, but the Guinean has found life tough since arriving in England. The former teammate to fellow sufferer Werner has failed to land a consistent starting role at Liverpool, and the star has also seen his career hampered with injury since arriving at Anfield. Keita has only managed 60 league appearances in three years since joining Liverpool, although this season the midfielder has upped his game and is looking more and more like that player that was signed back in 2018. However, despite starting to perform, another injury has set back the midfielder as his career continues to stall in the Premier League. Serge Gnabry is a slightly different inclusion. To wrap up this list, as the German didn't make a high-profile transfer to the Premier League, but his career did take off after he had left, leaving Arsenal to ponder what might have been. Nabry joined Arsenal's youth academy as a 16-year-old, but failed to impress Arsene Wenger and even Tony Pulis who took on the youngster at West Brom on loan. The German departed for Germany in 2016 and impressed at Werder Bremen for a season before joining Bayern Munich for just £7 million a year later, and Nabry has been an inspired form ever since. Nabry now has a market value of £63 million according to Transfermarkt, and even managed four goals in one Champions League tie against former rivals Tottenham during a 7-2 away win with the Bavarian Giants.